Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Yogbox for beta 1.7.3 uh, in 2018. Guys, That's it was made in 2011, so seven years later, having nostalgia, want to play the old Yogbox. Um, but things have changed a bit, but here we are back to making install videos, and this time we're going to do it for multi-MC and uh, it's a little bit different. You're not going to use the installer. Okay, so you want to download Yogbox, and I'll pr provide a link in the description, the best link I can, and we'll try to uh, get the keep the best link up that we can. All right. So anyway, I've got this 1.1. I'm not sure what the last version was. I don't know, and I'm not even actually sure where I got this. I've had it for a long time. So anyway, Yogbox. When you decompress your archive or whatever, it was done by an installer. So that's this installer.jar. That doesn't work anymore. That, that's just not going to work for you. So we're going to do it manually. Okay. And I will show you that it will work. Here it is in multi-MC. And all we need to do is create two uh, zip archives and then add the, the remaining mods. And so when we launch, we're in good shape. It will definitely work. Okay, so let that happen for a moment. Uh, these days, mod packs take forever to launch. This guy, not so bad. There's one of the great things about beta 1.3. So there it is. I've got their resource pack, and we are in Yogbox. And so we have the recipe book and all that. And there's some items from it, jump stick, crystal wing. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of here and let that happen. Got the little clothes. All right, cool. So here's what we need to do, guys. So you have got your um, your Yog box here. You decompressed it. Inside this mods folder here, uh, there is going to be a few folders. All right, so there's going to be a folder called Required and a folder called extra. We, we really don't need to worry about the extra folder, uh, but the required folder, there's going to be a folder called two folders. One's going to be APIs. The other one's going to be core mods and settings. Okay, so if, let's first go into the core mods and settings folder, and you're going to see that there is a jar folder inside of here. And so go ahead and open that guy and select all, uh, if you you happen to be on a Mac and you've got your hidden files shown, be sure not to have DS store done. And then we're going to make an archive out of this. So if you have WinRAR or WinZip, it's basically the same thing. We're going to make a zip archive um, on the Mac. I just say compress 49 items and make a zip file. Okay. So you just want to compress all these folders and you'll do this repeatedly if you're working with old Minecraft versions. So figure out how to do that. So I just made that and named it core jar zip that's the zip file right there okay now we're going to do the exact same thing in the apis so open the apis jar select be sure not to have ds store selected if you're on mac and make an apis uh, zip okay then we just want to go into multi mc and i'll go ahead and do the whole process just because it's it's quick and i'll just create a new instance right here and i'm just going to call it yog box Video. Okay, and you want to be sure. And if you have a group that you could put it in, that's just a way to organize it. Then you can put it there. Um, check betas along the side here. We're going to want to get beta 1.7.3. And then find that guy in the list right here and select it. Okay, so then it's now on your list. So right click it and choose edit instance. Edit the instance. Okay, and it'll open up and you'll see you've got Minecraft and then the uh, jar that it's needed for that Java file. And so to this guy, all you want to do, you really want to go ahead and launch it once. Just so you can create the folders and, you know, be sure that everything's good, what have you. Uh, so go ahead and just launch it one time. And let it do its thing. Okay, there we go. And it tells us up there what we got. Okay. And you're going to get these errors. That's because the sound files are missing. All right. So um, 
I'll leave a uh, link in the description of where you can get the sound files. But you can go to your instance folder here, open it up, right click, choose instance folder. And then I have a, uh, let's see, on my desktop, again, that's the link. Um, yeah, come on, dude. There we go. Uh, I have an assets folder that I have that'll have the different Minecraft assets in it. Or technically should. It doesn't. Because I don't plan. I just do. Here we go. Guess what, guys? Now it has it in there. Okay. And so that's the resources folder. Really, all you need is new sound. Uh, but this was an original instance of the beta 1.3. Or 1.7.3 folder. Okay. Uh, so you've got your Yog box. You have the Minecraft folder and the Mac. It's an invisible folder. So you need to show hidden files because it's a dot folder. Right click on it, choose open tab or open a new tab. On Windows, you won't have to do that. You could just open it. So you want to go into your resources and just paste and just go ahead and replace it. It's all good. Okay. And so that should give you your Minecraft sounds back. You're still going to keep getting these errors, but that's that's what it is. It's a uh, uh, Mojang has changed the permissions on the place where they downloaded the sound files, and now you can't get sound in the older versions. Um, so you need to maintain resource packs. But you should have sounds now. I create a new world. Um, we should have sounds in it. Okay. So it's good to do that before you do the Yogbox stuff. Uh, okay, I'm <laughs> spawned on top of the cactus. Nice. <laughs> I was wondering what in the heck was going on. But that was great. Okay, cool. Um, right, so we got that going on. All good. Everybody's happy. All right, so now all we need to do is we just need to go and add to the jar, okay? And go and browse for our files that we created. Uh, just get APIs first. It's first in the list. And then go back and get, oops, um, in your required folder, core mods, get your core. Okay, there's your core ones. Now we can launch again just to be sure we're good on that. And after this, we can immediately shut down Minecraft. We don't need to uh, open up into the new world. Shouldn't take very long. There we go. Looking good. We see some different things here, different color on the logo, all that. Okay, so we're good. Now, close that. And then we want to go back to the instance folder. So open the instance folder right here. Right. And in your Yog box deal, there is a um, another folder in the core one called resources. Okay, and so you want to copy everything in that folder right there. Okay, just copy it, and then get your Minecraft folder again. Open a new tab and paste. Okay, and the only one that it's going to replace is mods. So you could choose replace or merge. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we should be good. There's no resources folder in there, so everything's good. Um, you got a config folder maybe that was copied over, but you need all that. Okay, so we should be good. That should be it. Go back into your loader mods and now you'll see all the extra mods that were put into the mod folder and then that's it that's the complete yog box so let's go ahead and launch it and i love these fast launches really again compared to the big packs nowadays okay we're good uh, so you could go ahead and choose your texture pack you've got two choices you've got a painterly style one or you have the revival one. I like the revival. Select that. Uh, you could get other options and stuff if you wanted video settings, set your distance, and all that kind of stuff. And beyond that, you're ready to play. 
So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and just create a new world. Yaga. <laughs> it's yoga, but Yaga will work for me. And go ahead and you can hear we got our sounds. Uh, we found our sounds by spawning on a cactus. That was pretty cool. And there we go. Should launch, should go. Uh, you will, again, have those errors. There's just nothing you can do about it. But we have the full yak box. And it does give you a recipe book when you spawn. So you can get your recipes from there. But anyway, guys, that's it. It's actually pretty simple to do. Um, and again, you're, you'll have to learn how to you know, make your zip archives and stuff because you'll be doing that over and over again if you make these, uh, if you work with these old mods. Anyway, do leave a like, consider subscribing, and enjoy playing beta 1.7.3 Yogbox. Anyway, this is Scott Omaro. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>